So we are going to take some more examples of the SLR1 parsing table, uh, SLR1 parsing. And uh, let's say that we have a grammar of this kind. First, make the augmented grammar for this by taking the s dash produces s dot sorry dot s and let's say there is a dollar after this and then after the dot there is a terminal symbol non terminal symbol so we'll be writing all the production is starting with capital s with a dot in the beginning and uh, there is only not only one production but actually we'll be taking this one first s produces dot capital s and s produces dot a fine so after the dot there are only the terminal symbols so in the closer item only these will be taken now from this let's take a capital s and this goes to a new state from zero we are going to a new state s dash produces s dot and dollar now from this let's take an opening parenthesis so, s produces opening dot l after the dot there is a non-terminal symbol we'll be writing all the production is starting with this capital l so l produces dot l this and this So we have uh, one more production L produces SEL. So we will be taking L produces dot S, and since there is a uh, non terminal S after the dot, so all the production is starting with S with a dot in the beginning. S produces this one, and then S produces dot A. So there's so many items there in this state. Let's number this as state number two. After this, let's take a small a. So s produces a dot. This is telling us the new state. Let's number it as three. From this, let's take capital L. Sorry, from this, let's take a dollar. This is leading us to a new state. S produces s dollar dot let's say this is the state number four and then after this we are taking a capital L from state number two S produces dot here L produces L is here also L is here also so L produces L dot this one okay only these two items here let's number it as 5 after this let's take a capital s from here from 2 so this is l produces s dot now after this if you take an opening parenthesis so the dot will be shifting after the opening parenthesis this means we are observing this so after the dot there is capital l so all the production is starting with L with a dot in the beginning. So all these items will be appearing. So if we are taking the opening parenthesis, we are going to remain in the same state. Fine. And now after the opening parenthesis, we are going to take a small a. If we take a small a, we will be going to this state. Okay. As produces a dot. So we have seen all the items from there. Now let's say the let's see the items from here. If we're taking the closing parenthesis from here, S produces opening L closing and dot. This is the new item. Let's say this is the state number seven. Now if we take the comma from here. This is leading us to L produces L comma dot and S. There is a start symbol. Uh, there, there is a non-terminal symbol after the dot. So all the production is starting with A. 
with a dot in the beginning so s produces dot l dot under bracket l s produces dot small a fine no other items only these ones this is a state number 8 no transition from 6 symbol state so only transition will be uh, there from the state number 8 now from 7 also there is no transition if we take a capital S L produces L comma S dot and then if we take the opening parenthesis from here just see if you're taking the opening parenthesis from here we will actually be going to this state dot will be shifted after the opening parenthesis then all the items starting with L with a dot in the beginning all the items starting with S with a dot in the beginning so if you are taking the opening parenthesis from here you are going to state number 2 <clears throat> if you are going to take the small a you will be going to state number 3 fine so if you take uh, the transitions from state number 9 there will be no further because this is the last item where the dot is appearing at the last so let's make the uh, LR0 parsing table for this. <coughs> for making the LR0 parsing table, I'm writing two parts action and go to. Into, in the action, we have the symbol opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, A, comma, and dollar. And in the go to part, we will have capital S and capital L. Okay. The states are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's make entries. In this table so on zero with capital s you are going to one on zero with capital s you are going to one on zero with opening parenthesis you are going to two on zero with opening parenthesis you are going to two but shift two on zero with small a you are going to three shift three so from one on dollar you are going to the state where the dollar uh, that there is a dollar after the start symbol so on one with dollar you will accept the string so on 2 with capital S you are going to 5, on 2 with capital L you are going to 5, on 2 with capital S you are going to 6 state, on 2 with capital S you are going to 6 state, on 2 with opening parenthesis you are remaining with a 2 state only. So on 2 with opening parenthesis you are going to write S2 and then on 2 with a small a you are going to 3 state, on 2 with a small a you are going to three state that is s3 so on four no transition from five there are the transitions from five with closing parenthesis you are going to seven so in five with the closing parenthesis you are going to five so you will be sorry seven you will be writing s7 here so in five with a comma you are going to eight on five with comma you are going to eight so you are going to write s8 here no more transition from five no more transition from 6, no more transition from 7. There are the transition from 8. So from 8 with a capital S, you're going to 9. So on 8 with capital S, you're going to 9. On 8 with opening parenthesis, you're going to 2 state. So on 8 with opening parenthesis, you're going to 2 state. So you'll be writing as 2. On 8 with a small a, you're going to state number 3. So with a small a, you're going to write S3 here. So all the shipped items are completed. Now you'll be writing the uh, reduce items for this number, the <clears throat> production 1, 2, 3, 4. Find out uh, where the final items are appearing in these states. So final items are appearing in the state number 3 first, then 6, then 7, and then 9. So one by one, we are taking it as produces A dot. So if this is the LR0 uh, if this is the LR0 table, we'll be writing blindly the reduction items at every uh, terminal symbol. 
so this is the s produces a dot second in three this is the second production so you'll be writing r2 at every place okay and then the final item is there in the sixth state sixth state is l produces s dot that is fourth production so in six you would be writing r4 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 and r4 and then we have it in seventh state s produces this one this is r1 first production so in seven you will be writing r1 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 and r1 this is the ninth state which is having the final item production number three so in nine you will be writing r3 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 and r3 okay so in this table there is uh, no reduce reduce conflict or shift reduce conflict so this grammar is lr0 fine now just we have to find out uh, uh, how can we convert the lr0 uh, lr0 table to slr1 so you do not have to reduce the uh, you do not have to write the reduce blindly but you will be writing the reduce at the follow of the left hand side so find out the follow of uh, the symbols follow of s and follow of l okay so the follow of s will certainly contain a dollar then where the follow uh, so where the s appears on the right hand side so s appears on the right hand side here so follow of s will be same as follow of l okay so now find out what is the follow of l follow of l find out so where the file, uh, l appears on the right hand side l appears here so after the l there is a closing parenthesis after the after the l there is a comma also okay now uh, the follow of s is also follow of l it means all the items which are there in the follow l will also be there in the follow of s so closing parenthesis and comma will be there in the follow of s also so for uh, the productions uh, one and two it means you do not have to write uh, r1 and r2 blindly but you have to write uh, in follow of s places so dollar closing and comma so wherever, wherever you have written the r1 so in the opening place it will not be r1 closing place it will be there at a it will not be there at comma it will be there at dollar it will be there similarly for the r2 also for r3 and r4 for third and fourth production follow of l that is l and comma l uh, oh, closing parenthesis and comma so you have written the r3 and r4 here r3 here so n at opening it will not be there closing it will be there at a it will not be there at comma it will be there and dollar it will not be there similarly for r4 also fine so we have made it as as the slr1 parsing table so we have discussed it earlier also uh, whenever we are going to create the uh, uh, parsing table the blank entries in the parsing table is telling us the errors while doing the parsing parsing if these entries do appear it will it means that uh, we have an error and the string given to us is not according to the grammar thank you